Protest action is brewing once again at the Barbados Revenue Authority as staff were earlier today, Wednesday, March 13th, 2024, off the job. Speaking on behalf of disgruntled workers, General Secretary of the Unity Workers Union, Caswell Franklin said that the protest was because of ongoing issues faced by the workers. He alluded to a personal issue that the BRA may have with him as well. There's a call coming from the leader of the opposition, Ralph Thorn, for the Democratic Labour Party, DLP, to do more in terms of showing a unified front as a party so as to rescue Barbadians from the oppression of the Mia Motley administration. He was seen making the charge in a clip making rounds on social media recently. The situation in Haiti continues to turn for the worse, with the United Nations World Food Programme warning that the country is on the verge of experiencing a severe hunger crisis. There's some hope for the political situation as an interim prime minister has been elected after Ariel Henry's resignation. Disciplinary action is coming for those cops involved in the case of three escape prisoners in Grenada. This is after investigations show that the negligence and human error played a role in their escape. The three prisoners were also charged with the murder of two American visitors to Grenada. Today, March 13, 2024, the U.S. House of Representatives is set to pass a bill which will force TikTok to cut ties from its Chinese owner or be ultimately banned from the United States of America. That piece of legislation proves to be the most threatening since TikTok was launched. The weather synopsis today says a ridge pattern is the dominant feature across the island. The general forecast remains a mix of sunshine and clouds with brief scattered light showers mainly during the afternoon. With the Capital Media News Brief for today, the 13th of March, 2024, I'm Mishron Robinson.